how to enable a password protected QR code. So QR codes save users time and resources by allowing them to view files, web pages, and other types of media easily by scanning a two-dimensional barcode with their mobile device. Now, most of the time, the way we access the embedded information in a QR code is by scanning and tapping a command prompt, then we're led to the information we need. Now, this is ideal for when we share promotional content and public data, but what if we embed sensitive information in the QR code and want to only allow a few people to access it? I mean, you wouldn't want to accidentally leak confidential information and jeopardize the things involved with that data. A QR code can be scanned by anyone, right? Technically, yes, but you can limit access to the embedded information in your QR code. So let me introduce you to a QR code feature that will help you with that worry. QR Tiger's password protection feature. So this feature is only applicable to dynamic QR codes. Once enabled, your QR code will have a password when someone scans it. Only the people who know the password would be able to access the information embedded in it. So how do you password protect your QR code? First, generate a dynamic QR code for your data. Then, go to your dashboard by clicking on My Account, identify the QR code that you want to password protect, then click on the password icon, type in the text box the password you want to set, then don't forget to tick the checkbox to enable password protection. After you're done, click Save. To make sure that your file has been password protected, do a test scan. Download a PNG file of the QR code you generated, then scan it. If you successfully set the password, the link will lead you to a page where you have the key in the password to access the data. And that's it. QR codes are not as intimidating as you think. If you want to learn more about it, click the link to our blog website in the description box below. Please don't forget to like the video and hit that subscribe button for more updates. This has been David, and I'll see you in the next video.